one of the areas that I think are, is the most relevant for global optimization of all of us at any time of life under stress uh, conditions as, a, as adults is the use of the stellate ganglion block as a, a calming effect on the neurological system, so to speak, a, a neurological reset. Right. Yeah, I've heard that. You know, it's a, like a reboot in, a, in some sense. And I think you really have to think about it as a, um, a way for your nervous system to metabolically recover. So if we did this uh, stellate ganglion block, which is a very delicately guided block, you know, on, from either side uh, to a nerve that runs not in the spine, but in front of the spine between two muscles. And that's your uh, sympathetic chain just uh, above your stellate ganglion. And that uh, very specific uh, procedure takes some skill to do. Um, but it's also important to notice that it, it doesn't really work that well with the short acting local anesthetics. So if we used like lidocaine, mm -hmm. which is uh, about half of the uh, half life of, of ripivacaine, then we don't seem to get the result at last. Mm -hmm. It feels the same immediately afterwards. And uh, what we've noticed is that it's really somewhat of a metabolic recovery. So if you can imagine if you have been running really quickly, and your legs start to burn, eventually you want to stop running because your legs will stop burning pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, in the case of your nervous system, that's a metabolic uh, overload in your leg. In the case of your nervous system, uh, part of the metabolism is these neurotransmitters that are released between neurons in the synapse. And, there's a, they can, and neurotransmitters are a little bit different because they stimulate the nervous system to run. So at a certain level of stimulation, you may reach a threshold where the nervous system is running really quickly and using a lot of energy and it now no longer has the capacity to clear mm -hmm. that synapse. So whatever happened is essentially continuously happening. It's like a continuous system. movie. It's like a movie. Yeah. So it could be a movie of a soldier's experience on a battlefield. It could be a movie of somebody's assault. It could be a movie of somebody's severe pain, maybe a severe pain that happened in a trauma or a pain that's been just very severe for weeks on end. Right. The average person doesn't walk around thinking that they have PTSD, although many of us do have stories consistent with that. But, uh, but this is, I think, applicable to the general society. And the question right. is, why? Why, is it, why does it mean that if we're running under stress conditions, that this becomes a relevant thing to think about? Right. 